Oh, we're going to just keep rail rolling right on. We made it through the football. Now we go to the other fall sport that's still going, and we've still got athletes from our three teams participating. That's the state cross-country meet, and that was over at uh, St. Olaf. So you're going to want to head down with us to St. Olaf College in Northfield, Minnesota. Boys first as we take a look at the action. There's a lot of them there. Wait for the gun. Yeah, there we go. So they're off. Blaine's best hope, Nicholas Jacobson. A year ago, Ben Olson finished 26th overall for the Blaine boys. This year, the hopes are on Jacobson. However, the number one, Acer Iverson, there he is, followed by Andrew Brandt, Maxwell Manley, and Addison Stansbury. Those four separated by less than six seconds. Later on, 35th place, Nicholas Jacobson, the senior, finishing for Blaine. Centennial's freshman, Jonathan Patty, came in 135. Bright future ahead for that young man. On the ladies' side, the start looks almost exactly the same. There we go. A lot of people running. Freshmen, the story for our teams. We're going to keep an eye on them. But when it came to the tops, the top two finishers were both seniors. And Emily Covert, so sneaky and so covert, she came in 25 seconds ahead of anyone else. Lauren Peterson took second. So Minneapolis, Washburn, and Farmington representing the south side. Our teams came in a little later. The freshmen getting their feet wet. Spring Lake Park's Caitlin Finnegan at 103rd. And then Blaine's Kelsey Hoover in at 135th. Great first state tournament as official high schoolers, as freshmen this year for those two young ladies. You take a look at the finishes there. Outstanding work on both the boys and girls side, but you can see the top finishers overall. Nice representation from Farmington getting second and third on the ladies side.